Local middle school children caught with a gun on a packed school bus, and tonight we're learning how they got it. Brenda Lee Gonzalez joining us live from Sarasota. And Brenda, you actually talked with the man who owns the gun. Yeah, and he isn't the only one police think these teens stole from right here at this apartment complex. They broke into three apartments. In his case, though, they took two of his guns, and one of those is the one that ended up on that school bus. Boss on the side of the road with a possible weapon on board. That's the call that first alerted police of a gun on a Booker Middle School bus with 45 kids on board. So evidently there's something going on with that bus. The students are all bailing out the back door. Turns out three students, one just 13 years old, stole this gun and another one that they brought to school. Despair would be the word that I would use for the entire experience. Nicholas Maddens is a rightful owner of the two guns he says are a family heirloom. They watched me drive away. They told the cop, the guy on the motorcycle, we waited for him to leave around 2 o'clock. And when he drove off, we broke in right away. Sarasota Detective John Todd says those three students, another 14-year-old and 18-year-old Juan Fernandez, admitted to stealing the guns and other items from three apartments and a car. Police don't think the teens plan to use the gun. At this point, it appears that they just basically took it to school to show it to other kids. Now they face felony charges. When I was a kid, I dug holes in the ground or I played sports. So. Police retrieved Madden's guns, but he's still missing something. They also got like a 12 inch Bowie knife that was in there as well. That was also my father in law's um, knife, but that's also not recovered. So that's still out there somewhere. Police are mostly concerned about how they all ended up here. Student came up, said there's a possible gun on board in this situation. Where, you know, where's the, the you know, parental control here and who, who's watching out for these kids? And Investigators spoke to these kids' parents and they now know about the consequences they face. They hope that this can serve as a message, not just to these parents, but to teens in this area about the serious consequences they can face about just how they choose to spend their free time. Reporting live in Sarasota, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, ABC Action News.